Hello guys, welcome back to Sophie Reacts. Have a wonderful day today. We're going to be reacting to Firefly season 1 episode 3. This episode is called Bushwhacked. I have no idea what it means, but anyway, without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. Perfect. Who's winning? I can't really tell. They don't seem to be playing by any civilized rules that I know. Yeah, Simon and Nora are the most sophisticated and best looking of the crew. Well, we're pretty far from civilization. Proximity alert. We must be coming up on something. Oh my god. What can it be? We're all doomed. Who's flying this thing? You're supposed oh, right, to be flying. Oh, uh, yeah. What? Oh ah! god! What the hell was that? Anybody home? Then hailing her, but whoever's there is as healthy as the guy we just ran over. What is it? It's a ghost. Please, no. <laughs> it's interesting how River has been shot thus far. As if like she's a piece of the ship or something. Cram 15, maybe 20 families on a boat that size. You pack them in tight enough. Shall I remind you of the story of the Good Samaritan? I'd rather you didn't. God, but we'll Mel. <laughs> but Bouquet providing God's guidance. We'll check it out. Could be survivors. If not, well then, no one's gonna mind if we take a look around, see if there's not something of value they might have left behind. Close enough to ring the doorbells, okay, Wash? What the hell is that? Whatever happened here happened yeah. quick. What happens to the people here? Sir. Personal log. Someone was in the middle of an entry. <laughs> it's kind of a horror vibe in this episode. It's okay, I'm here. I can't sleep, it's too much screaming. Hey, grab your med kit, let's hoof it. What are you doing here and what's with the suit? <laughs> You're hilarious. Where are you, girl? This is intense. Gen seed, protein, crop supplements. Everything a grown family needs to make a fresh start on a new world. Even on a lifeboat. You'd think those who escaped would find room for some of this. Nobody escaped. Sir? What? What the hell? I know what did this. I want you to take Kaylee and the doctor off this boat. Don't ask questions. <laughs> what the hell is going on in this episode? What are you follow the voices? No, don't ever leave the ship. She Not followed the voices? Her was she referring to the people who got murdered when she was like I hear a lot of screaming. Is she like psychic? What did they do to her over at the academy? What the chick shut down is going on in there? Not now, dear. Poor wash. Came at me from behind. Big though. Strong. I think I might have hit him. Not really. <laughs> no one's gonna hurt you. No, no mercy. No, we got lots of mercy. We got lots and lots of oh. <laughs> oh yes. He's a real beast. <laughs> the one who's still alive. Look bigger when I couldn't see him. <laughs> Cattle for the slaughter. Dope him. I don't think that. Just do it. So he'll live then. <laughs> Which, to my mind, is unfortunate. Not a very charitable attitude, Captain. Charity would be putting a bullet in his brain pan. Mal. He's suspicious. What we can do for him now, not after what he's seen. What do you mean? The ship was hit by Reavers. Oh. Reavers. Whatever horror he witnessed, whatever acts of barbarism, it was done by men. Reavers ain't men. They forgot how to be. And they're just nothing. They got out to the edge of the galaxy, to that place of nothing, and that's what they became. Why are we still sitting here? I'm Work scared. ain't done. 
Still substantial money value sitting over there. Like, we haven't seen the Reavers yet, but like, seeing that a character like Jane, who isn't afraid of much, getting all scared when someone brings up Reavers. Like, it makes Reavers even scarier when the biggest guy is scared of them. I've dealt with bodies, they don't worry me. I'd like to go with him. Maybe see what I can do about putting those folks to rest. Those folks are already resting pretty good, Shepard. We were sort of that. The fact that Mel was such a religious guy six years ago, it just... I don't believe this one. We're sitting put for a funeral? Yes, Jane. That is exactly what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna have these people looking over my shoulder once we're gone. I ain't saying there's any peace to be had, but on the off chance there is, those folks deserve a little of it. Are the way Nora's looking at him right now? Just when I think I've got you figured out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I figured it'll keep the others busy for a while. No reason to concern them with what's to be done. Sir? Sure. He has something else in mind. What is that? Yeah. Reaver Reavers sometimes leave him for the rescue ships. Triggered it when we latched on. And when we detach? It blows. We could probably bypass that easy. We get to the DC line. You tell me right now, little Kaylee, you really think you can do this? Sure. Yeah, I think so. Besides, if I mess up, it's not like you'll be able to yell at me. Girl, she just want to set up the possibility of getting yelled at for messing up, then getting killed the fuse in the booby trap? Katie! She must be psychic or something. Blood? What the hell? Girl, you rock. Everyone's home, Wash. Let's go. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me, Reavers. This is Reavers. Firefly class transport, you are ordered to release control of your helm. Prepare to dock and be boarded. The Alliance. I feel like they might have a chance with the Alliance and the Reavers, but they got Simon and River like with them. Civilization finally caught up with us. Stack everything right here, plain sight. We don't want it to seem like we got anything to hide. I might give them Alliance boys the wrong impression. Or the right yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> now go run, fetch your sister. Just do as I say. Is that why you let us stay? So you could use us as bargaining chips? I knew there was a reason. They are not taking her, and you are not giving her to them. Don't be a fool, son. Do as the man says. The book trusts in what Mal wants to do. Okay. We trust too. Is this your vessel? It is. Bought and paid for. I'm Captain Malcolm Reynolds. And is this everyone, Captain? By way of crew, it is. Though in our infirmary, you're going to find a fellow we rescued off that derelict. Saved him, I guess you could say. Yeah, Lion's property too. You could lose your ship, Captain. But that is a wrist slap compared to the penalty for harboring fugitives. A brother and sister. When I search this vessel, I won't find them, will I? No children on this boat. Hmm. I didn't say children. Guy is smart. Holy moly, Mal is so smart. Like, if he had slipped up and, like, accidentally revealed that he knew that he was talking about adults, that would have been it. So, him saying no children on board is such a nice touch. On every inch of this junker talk. Junker? Settle down, Kaylee. But, Captain, did you hear what that purple belly called Serenity? Shut up. That's all she cares if I love that. I rent the shuttle from Captain Reynolds, which allows me to expand my client base. And the captain finds that having a companion on board opens certain doors that might otherwise be closed to him. And do you love him? I don't see how that's relevant. Oh, my God. I was <laughs> like, what the hell is that? I like, what? <laughs> you fought with Captain Reynolds in the war. Fought with a lot of people in the war. And your husband. Fight with him sometimes too. <laughs> Zoe. I freaking love Zoe. She's been on Mal's side the longest, which makes her get away with saying things to him that no one else can. And she's a total badass action female, seriously, and like has a great sense of humor. Love her. Is there any particular reason you don't wish to discuss your marriage? She's just don't a private that's person. Any business is all. We're very private people. <laughs> yeah. The legs. Oh, yeah, I definitely have to say it was her legs. You can put that down. <laughs> Everybody shows so well their personalities. Gotta love that. And I love Zoe and Wash's dynamics. Zoe is like, 
We're very private people in Wash. I love my wife's butt. Like, what the hell? Have you ever been with a warrior woman? <laughs> That was the funniest sequence ever, seriously. <laughs> this, this whole sequence is a masterpiece, seriously. All of them really, in their own unique way, each of the crew gave away exactly nothing important. <laughs> Where are they hiding, seriously? <laughs> are you looking for two adult fugitives? That's... Genius! Genius! And Simon is panicking. <laughs> I knew he was gonna be panicking. Ah! She's having the time of her life! Must be so quiet in here. <laughs> is that why you attacked that transport? What? You're still fighting the same battle, Sergeant. Only those weren't soldiers you murdered. They were civilians, families, citizens loyal to the Alliance trying to make a new life for themselves and you just can't stand that, can you? So we attacked that ship, then brought the only living survivor to our Exactly. Is that what we did? <laughs> you can't imagine how many times men in my position hear that excuse. Reavers did it. It's the truth. They made him watch. And he probably tried to turn away. Oh, he he's not one of them. You call him a survivor? He's not. A man comes up against that kind of will, the only way to deal with it, I suspect, is to become it. I want guards on the nursery. It won't matter. You won't find him. I know where he'll go. But it's okay. Wait. Wait. No, listen Wait. to her. Listen to her. She's she's psychic. Oh, hey. oh I knew it. <laughs> All right. Let's get him to the break. No, no, no. Well, I should go with you. Is that a question? How many more men you feel like losing today, Commander? We let him go first. <laughs> Right. You wanna uh What a douchebag. Thanks. No, we don't we don't He know. went from no way you're coming with me to let him go first handcuffed. Oh, going... I really don't want to meet Reavers. Nope. This one was in the progress of becoming one and look at him. It's already terrifying. He saved you. You save his Goram life, he still takes the cargo. Oh, done. At least he let you go. You had to. Couldn't let us profit. Couldn't be civilized. <laughs> that was such a good episode. Like, this episode really did a great job at building up the horror and tension around the Reavers. It shows that they're not just horrifically cruel, savage, and barbaric, but also very cunning and devious. So I really don't want to meet them at all. Loved the horror style of the episode. The interrogation sequence was brilliant. The way they tell so much about the characters, just by the way they act. Also, Wash describing his favorite parts of Zoe. My god, that was hilarious. Like, how did they even get to that topic? Like, seriously. Also, we had River and Simon's different reactions to being out in space. Also, Mal's way to distract most of the crew while they deal with the booby trap. Like, Mao is such an intriguing character, like, I love him. Also, one of the reasons I love the show is because how real, real space traveling is. Like, this is a future that is very possible for us. So I really love the realism of the show. So yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and see you in the next video.